I just want to make stuff says, how do you handle sawdust from all of your miter saw projects? Well, that's a great question. Um, I say, I always use the 18 volt blower and I blow my shop out most of the time. Mm -hmm. I did at one point design a hood for mine and I used it for a while, but I found it's just the messiest saw. It's really one of the messiest tools you're gonna have. And the blower was my ultimate, you know, you just make a mess and you blow it out. That was the best yeah. solution for it. There's dust collection systems. Whitney used to I have a dust one of collection those too. system. They're loud, they are expensive, they take mm -hmm. up a lot of room. My shop is smaller, so I don't have room for it. Honestly, you're gonna you're gonna have to clean up anyway, so you may as well just clean it up. I try to clean up between my steps. Yeah. So that there's not a huge okay. mess at the end. I try to, but I fail. <laughs> she has a bigger shop than I do, so I don't have any room unless I clean up between. I build it and I'm like, honey, can you clean it for me? That's what I do. I know, sometimes, sometimes we can wrangle the husbands in at the end of the day if we're like, I'm so tired, can you blow my shop off? <laughs> I can't do it as good as you. Suzanne Prenovost. She's from Germany. From Germany, we'll say that. <laughs> when staining name. pine, do you use pre-stain? If not, how do you avoid blotching and uneven staining? The brand of stain that we like to use, which is Verathane, um, it does not require any kind of wood conditioner before. We do like to do a little bit of water popping, mm -hmm. which is where, and we shared that in a video before, where we spray it down, kind of wipe it down so the wood's just a tiny bit damp before you stain it. It gives it a really rich feel. And the stain that we use, it's a one step, one coat. It dries in an hour, so it's super easy and quick to use. The steps that we do, we'll sand it with like a, a rough grit first, and then we'll go back with a fine grit. Like Whitney said, we'll do the water popping, then we stain it, and we add a poly if it's something that's gonna see traffic. Now, if you're having issues with blotching, I think sometimes maybe your wood got damp without you realizing it. And so if one area of it got wet and the other didn't, it's gonna be blotchy when you put that stain on. Unfortunately, that's unavoidable, mm -hmm. but you just have to, you have to be careful. But, and it may have gotten wet before you even got the wood. So. I've actually had something like that happen to a piece of plywood. I didn't know it was wet beforehand and it didn't stain the same way from one side to the other. We've been able to go back and fix that with a darker gel stain. Yeah. So but if you do have something like that happen, you can fix it with a gel stain. And it probably wasn't your fault, and it's a bummer. And it's probably not the stain's fault either. It's just the wood. We get that question all the time. 